This is Geometry Algebra Review on page 39. If you look on the top of page 39, there are some properties in algebra. And so the, all this should be reviewed. And then we're going to work a few problems, okay? So the commutative. What does commute mean? If I commute to the grocery store, I go from my house to the grocery store. I move places, right? And if you look at the commutative property of addition, it merely says I can have a plus B, or I can commute the terms that's the same as B plus A. For multiplication, I just commute the terms. Instead of multiplying A times B, I multiply B times A. That's the commutative property of addition and multiplication. And we're going to use that in algebra. These are important foundations for algebra. The associative property says, I can associate with some people and I can also associate with other people and I'm the same person, right? So I can have A associated with B and add C out here, or I can have A um, associated with, um, I can have A, let's associate B with C. I can have A all by itself out here and associate B with C. I get the same value. With multiplication, if all the terms are multiplied, it doesn't matter how I write it. A times B times C is the same thing and I can associate B with C, it's the same thing. Or I can have A times B times C because Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, parentheses, exponents. My dear is multiplication and division. They go together left to right, okay? Addition and subtraction, they go together left to right. All right, the identity. What the identity says is I don't change. If I add zero to A, it's still A. If I multiply one times A, it's still A. That's the identity property. The inverse is the opposite. So the, the inverse operation to addition is subtraction. The inverse operation of multiplication is division. So for the inverse of addition, it's A plus negative A. For multiplication, it's A times 1 over A. That's division. Or A divided by A. Okay? When we do the inverse in addition, the result is 0. When, when we do the inverse in multiplication, the result is 1. All right, so look at your homework on page 40. Always leave pi as pi. Don't write pi as 3.14, okay? So like number 14, 2 pi 7, you multiply the 2 times the 7, right? That's 14, 14 pi. All right, the most important, let's look at 29. We have x squared plus x squared plus x squared plus x squared. This is number 29 plus x plus x plus x. We have to look at like terms. All of these are like terms. All of these are like terms. When I have like terms, I'm adding the coefficients. The coefficients are 1. So it's 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. There's 4 of them. So it's 4x squared. Okay? When I'm adding like terms, I add their coefficients, I don't change their exponents. Here I have three x's and that would be it simplified. So when I'm adding like terms, I add their coefficients. When I'm multiplying, there's a different rule. Look at number 32. I have x to the eighth times x to the sixth. They're like terms that I'm multiplying. When I multiply, like variables, variables really, I add their exponents. So multiplication is addition to exponents. 
multiplication of like, var like variables is addition to their exponents. So that is x times x to the 8 plus 6, because multiplication is addition, and that's x to the 14th. That's number 32. All right, let's go down to number 44. This is a, a, such an important concept that if you can lock it down right now, that would be amazing. All right, so looking at number 44, we have these parentheses, 4x plus 7, y minus, and then we have parentheses again, x plus 3, y. It's minus this whole term. This negative is distributed to both of those terms. So it's 4x plus 7y minus x minus 3y. When I have a minus a binomial, it changes the sign of both of the terms in this binomial. Now I look and I ask myself, do I have any like terms? A like term is the same variables raised to the exact same exponents. All right, so I have x to the first exponent, right? So then I, I add or subtract their coefficients. It's four minus one, because the one is assumed, three x. And then I have like terms here, seven y and three y. I combine their coefficients, it's 7 and negative 3, so that's positive 4y, and that's my answer. I want to do 48, 49, and 50. If I can find my eraser, right? There it is, under the book. <clears throat> All right, so 48 is 4x times 7y minus x times 3y. I multiply my constants. That's 28. 4 times 7 is 28. And it's times x times y. That's how I eliminate my parentheses. It's minus this whole term. It's just 1 times 3, so it's 3, x, and y. These are like terms because both have x, y in it. Both are to the first power. So then I subtract their coefficients. 28 minus 3 is 25xy. Okay, it's 48. Let's do 49. 2 plus x cubed plus. 5 plus x to the fifth. Okay, this time I have a positive sign on the outside of the parentheses. It changes none of the values on the inside. So I eliminate parentheses. I'm just adding them. But I want to write it in proper form. Proper form is in descending exponential order. So my x to the fifth goes first because it's the highest exponent. My x cubed goes next. I combine 5 and 2, and that's 7. So descending exponential order. Last one, number 50. Okay, I multiply my... The coefficients, 2 times 5 is 10. I multiply my like variables, and multiplication for variables is addition to their exponents, so it's 3 plus 5, which is 8. 